I'm going to call this one Wind Scale and Promotion. This is about the promotion scheme at Wind Scale. Um, basically, at Wind Scale, what you would be doing, um, what they would do is, and this is how they did Wind Scale. Like I say, from 19, from 1500 or 1800 or so, Wind Scale was basically Death Island. There were two spots set up. One spot was the piles, <clears throat> and one spot was this other city. Actually, three spots were set up. One spot was this other city with people and working and stuff like that that were only getting mild radiation or whatever, or pre-reactive. And then there was the piles, and then there was this other city, which was basically death, death the, the death spot. So what you'd do is you'd come in and you'd work at certain spots. And basically, you would actually even be promoted through the town, I think. is It also included the town. So basically, you'd get there with your kids and everything like that. And then you would be promoted up through the town. Like, you'd start there at the docks. And then you'd work closer in. And then you'd work closer in. And then you'd work closer in. And you'd work closer in. And basically, pretty much, it was to basically make it so when you're going to actually show signs of sickness from radiation, you would actually be working directly at the pile. And over a couple months period, like I, th I think it was a three-month plan or something like that, or, five, or a six-month plan, you'd be paid a uh, year's wages before you went to work at the island. And then you would get your money and you'd be encouraged to go and on, take a trip. And this is what the Republicans and Democrats and Richard Nixon and all the others John McCain, a lot of people were doing. Um, the aristocrats. Anyway, you'd get to you go to work, and then you would basically be promoted, and then promoted, and then promoted, and then promoted. And you'd feel like you were going up in rank, basically. And um, and basically, um, over three months, you'd be promoted closer and closer and closer to the pile, where within the last three days, you would basically be working in the most radioactive spot and be going to die in a few days. So sterility would happen in the town someplace. And then, or somewhere. They, they were noticing sterility in the town. But people at the town would say, and there were people that would come to the town, assure the town that there was nothing wrong and everything was fine, and even doctors that would go and look at people. And they said that they were, some somebody was saying that they're German doctors, but they weren't. They were somebody else. Anyway, I only found about this after the fact. Like I said, I found this out with, during the investigations. Anyway, so, and this is what the British Council and Britain government did, by the way. Because, well, you know, council, whatever. Anyway, some group, basically. I don't really know exactly who was doing it or who set it up. Some people say Nixon or JFK or someone like that. Anyway, or it was... Um, Har uh, Harlem and Wolf or basically Mr. Brown, Mr. Black. Anyway, so you'd go to work, uh, you'd be paid your year's wages, and of course you wouldn't be able to use, a, uh, use up a year's wages. Really. You'd just take a couple trips, whatever. And then basically, and you could only take trips on certain, 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 certain people that would basically take your money, whatever, as fast as whatever. Anyway. Whatever. Anyway, you can only go certain places. But anyway, then you would then you would go to work and you'd work at the docks and you'd work, 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 work. And it was figured out to where you would you would get sterility and not notice it. You would then go to work closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer until you're finally working right at the pile and you're going to die in three days. Basically, if you're gonna show signs from from radiation sickness, basically the problem was people would lose their hair. And, and, and I think what they might have been doing is also asking people to shave all their body hair beforehand. If you go to work here, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta shave your hair, shave, shave your head. And that was to keep you from noticing that you would have lost your, that you lost your hair. It's a very carefully conceived plan, basically, that, that Nixon and the, and the Republicans did. And, the, and, and, and basically Mr. Brown and pretty much um, Harlan and Wolf did. They planned all this out very, very, very specifically. So basically, your head would was shaved before you went to work, or went to the island. Then once you got on the island, you would be promoted, and promoted, and promoted, and promoted, and promoted, and promoted, and promoted until the last three days. You get your finally final promotion, and then you'd be working right next to the radioactive material, 
and soaking up lots of lots of radiation. And within three or four days, you would basically, <coughs> and then you'd be encouraged to go back to work if you were sick. Like, go back to work. You know, you just need a couple days. Somebody would come and say, and, and say, you just need a few days to, you know, you know, work it off. You know, you'll you'll feel better in a couple days. Trust me. People all like, this happens at the job site all the time. You just need a couple more days of work, and then and you'll you'll you know, get your metabolism up, and you'll be fine. Here's some vitamin here 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 here. You just have a common cold, and then <clears throat> and they'd go back to work, and they'd work, and they would try and work them there as long as they can until they finally, <clears throat> and then they would be picked up on a gurney, and taken out to site. The next site, site C, or whatever. I don't want to use my anything that has to do with my initials with this. So, site one, site two, site three. Anyway, then you've taken out the site three where nobody goes near. And basically, it's a it's basically a, a tent city with five thousand sick and dying people with blood or whatever. <coughs> they wouldn't even bother giving them water or food or anything because they'll be dead in a couple weeks anyway. So a lot of the people just starved to death, and they probably couldn't and they couldn't really couldn't keep anything down anyway. Anyway, my real doctors went in. What happened was there was a storm. <coughs> and the people were like, oh, <coughs> and, and, the, and the tents blew off. <coughs> and one of my aircraft, I think, was flying by. Going, <coughs> and they photographed all these cots on this, on this beach. Before, it just looked like tents. And they were like, it's nothing, it's nothing. And then suddenly, and then, and then we do a flyby, and we take the pan the camera over, and there's all these cots, like 5,000 of them, all laid out in like little things. And the storm had gone through and washed away, or, and the wind had blown all the, all, all the tents apart. And basically, you just had a lot of people going, oh, <laughs> on the ground, wandering around in the mud. And, um, and basically, my doctors, of course, we go in there. We send a ship. We land helicopters, and of course Nixon's along, along for the ride. Of course, you know, we got we, we got to see what's wrong with these people, and all that other stuff. And so, and it's national, basically five thousand people all laid out on cot, cots and hammocks, basically <coughs> bleeding from the eyes or whatever. You know, all the re, all the full on radiation sickness, unable to move, coughing up, throwing up <coughs> food, basically. And pretty much, you know, meanwhile, Nixon and everybody else or everybody else, you know, the, the tent city had actually been there for like a couple years and all that other stuff. It's like, like, like the truth of wind scale is like really fucking bad, like really fucking bad, like takes down the, 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 the Britain's government, takes down what is the Congress or whatever, takes down everything. Because they were labeling it national security. Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's like the worst of 1950. Anyway, so one storm comes by, exposes all these people, and we finally do a flyby and a camera. And the world wants to know. Are these six people? Who are these people? Anyway, then they find out they're, they're actually coal miners and miners and workers that work somewhere else. And then we're working at the site. And basically... You know, this is what also Rodney, Dean Briley, and Rick Bush and everybody else doesn't want anybody to know about. Like, this is what the world doesn't want anybody, all, all the top leaders don't want anybody to know about. It's what happened at Windscale and why it was a problem and what was going on. Because like I say, of course, I hit the stop button. You know, I'm LS, you know. I have... Anyway, so of course, you know, Nixon and everybody else gets on the whole thing of like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, even, even, they, they even get the queen, I think, to say it's fine. No, it's fine. It's all taken care of. Anyway, so what is wind scale? <clears throat> what is the truth of wind scale? With its, it's, it's 150,000 people that basically died from, from radiation poisoning, or 500,000, or 2 million. The, the numbers of, winds, of people that died at wind scale are unknown and considered national security and top secret. Um, that dwarf basically anything that ever happened in Germany. Germany, on the other hand, is careful. Although Germany had had quite a few people die from, from radiation sickness too, but not like Windscale and not like that. Windscale was something that I was mildly involved with in, in, in that I did have a research facility at one of the islands or somewhere, you know, around in there. But we were doing little small experiments with, uh, with the reactive material and not what they were doing at the Windscale site. 
Anyway.